Hello, this is Grave Coding here with a tutorial in Unity. What we're going to be doing today is uh, using the terrain. Okay, so to create a uh, terrain, go up into your menu, click Terrain, Create Terrain. It will create what looks like a plane, and uh, basically this is your terrain. Uh, it's actually very big right now, I'm sort of zoomed out a lot. Oh yeah, and if you notice some uh, zooming in, that's because my cam recorder has this weird feature where, like, uh, after it gets produced, it will like automatically zoom in so that it will fit YouTube better. It's, it's some weird thing like that. So uh, yeah, but uh, anyhow, this is our terrain, and in the hierarchy, when we select it, you will notice that there is a terrain script on it. Also, there's a terrain collider. Uh, we won't be needing that, but don't delete it. But uh, in the terrain script, you'll see that there are different buttons, and each do a specific thing. Now, the first one, this is raise and lower the terrain, and it does exactly what you would think it does. It raises and lowers the terrain. Brush size basically does what you think it does. It raises the brush size or lowers. And opacity is sort of like the strength. The higher, uh, the more it will raise. You also have these different buttons to apply different textures. So right now if we click, we can create this mountain right here. And we can select these buttons to make these weird textures. Stuff like that. Looks pretty nice. And also, if we shift click, we can lower something to uh, the main level or height that it started at. Just like that. Next tool is the set terrain height. Basically, what this does is lets you change the height by. Uh, just painting the height. If you shift click on how high you want your uh, map to be or terrain and then you start painting it will just sort of like flatten that out and extend it over sort of like this. Now if you're going to um, have your... Uh, I recommend doing this before actually starting your terrain because if you want rivers I find uh, this is the way to do it. You raise uh, your whole land up just like this, and then, then when you want a river, you just go into here and shift click, and it will start to lower. Then you could have a river. I also discovered this tool in case you are too lazy to do that. It's somewhere here. And it's by Chris something, and uh, he's been releasing some of his tools that uh, they use in their game, or whatever it is. Let's see where it is. Here it is. It's in the showcase. And basically what it does is it lets you create a river and it will even uh, create the indents like this just for you. So you basically won't have to do this if you plan to use this tool. And it also looks completely amazing. Look at that. I mean, it's perfect. It's like the best river ever. So, next tool, the smooth height. Basically what this does is it smooths just like that made something spiky look smooth I'm going to control Z that because I like it looking spiky next paint texture this basically puts a texture onto it and uh, for this I'll just use some grass rock So yeah, I'm not sure really how you use this, but yeah, 
Next, now place trees. Edit trees, add tree. Choose your tree. Uh, they have a lot of different stuff, but uh, we're just going to use the palm tree. Now, this is a really awesome tool. It is something that you have to use if you're creating stuff like forest. Basically, you draw and it will paint you trees. Not paint as in it's flat, it will actually add the trees. Which makes it super easy to create stuff like forest and stuff like that. And you can also change the brush, brush size even down to one, just to add one or two trees. You can change the tree density, the color variation, the tree height, the variation of the tree height, and the tree width, and that variation. Next, paint details. This is like grass and stuff like that. Let's see what grass they have. Grass. And you can't see it from far away because it draws differently. But yeah, you have grass which makes it look very nice. And you can add some stuff like detail mes meshes. Just basically anything that you want can be created. Okay, and uh, terrain settings. This is basically sort of just performance stuff such as tree distance you can change how far the trees draw detail distance it's for like the grass and stuff but it makes my computer super laggy and oops back to zero there we go don't even see it yet There we go. And it also has wind settings, size, bending, grass tint. And uh, basically that is it for creating terrains. I hope this helps you with your game. You can create some pretty neat stuff. And remember to check out this script. It's very nice. And uh, in fact, I might even have to do a tutorial on it. But uh, this is Terrain Basics in Unity. Thanks for watching. This is Creative Coding.